Hello YouTube, this is my first GameCube portable, and I guess this is sort of a work log. I'm about a third of the way through, I think. Um, I trimmed the motherboard with the minimalistic cut. If any of you are going to do this, um, the one I followed was a YouTube video. It's probably the one you found if you were searching for it. And I want to show you something. Over here, there's this is where the, the controller ports went into. And on this cut, um, he, he had you, he told you to cut in between, like, like through the connector ports. And I'm just letting you know that if you do that, you'll have to solder. See those tiny, those tiny golden dots? Those are really small. And you have to solder to those. So, um, and I hate soldering. So I would have personally liked to keep it, but I'm fine with how it turned out. Um, so, so far I have hooked up the reset button, this little tact switch, um, and the battery for the settings, the power LED, the controller works, uh, the fan is still plugged in, um, the original fan. I have this speaker hooked up, it's mono and there's no volume control or headphone jack. I'm going to replace it with these because they're, they're much thinner. They have better sound quality. See the difference in size alone. And they sound better too. Um, so I'm also going to get a, a log potentiometer to control volume and I'm going to install a headphone jack, hopefully. Um, so this is my mini LCD screen. It says TFT on the front of it. And it's a backup car monitor I got on Amazon. I paid 13 for mine to get it from a seller that you know seemed a bit more reputable, but they have them for six dollars. I paid 13, so really, like in the ten dollar range, you can get um, like a decent, decent sized screen. I mean, like in comparison to the trimmed motherboard, that's not a bad size. So um, I'm gonna turn this on. There's the power light. On the screen. As you can hear, the volume's not super great, but the controller is working. And there's the error um, that you get when you don't have the disk drive installed, uh, which I don't because I'm going to be replacing it with a Wasp Fusion I ordered from Eurasia.nu, and it's it's already shipped, um, and I haven't gotten it yet, so I'm waiting on that. Um, so there's the wasp fusion. I'm gonna fix the audio. Uh, do the heat sink and the batteries, and that's about it, I think. Um, then I have to do the casing. I believe I'm going to vacuum form the casing because that seems to be the the way to get the best results. Um, so I'm gonna build a a home vacuum form thing because it looks pretty easy. So that's that's how far I've gotten.